The distaff has a decent run to the turn, but with many of these gals similar in ability, trips could be significant. Blue Prize got better late in her campaign each of the last two years, and it looks like the same thing is going on now. This mare is very solid, and if this race is back east, she would undoubtedly run well. But she got in here at the last minute, and trainer Correas has never even had a start at Santa Anita. Dunbar Road and Wow are the two Chad Brown entrants, and both have tops around the two level, which means they would need to improve to contend against these. Well, here's a news flash. Chad's mastery of the California Breeders' Cup races does not extend to dirt. There's no comparison to how he does on grass, which may be why these are the only two he has in the dirt races. La Force improved tremendously last summer and got back to that level this June before tailing off. This mare shows a history of cycling in and out of form, and she might be coming back to a big one, which could get this locally based gal a piece of this at a big price. Midnight Bisu ran a new top in September of her three-year-old year, and while she's been solid since, she's never improved from that level. In fact, her recent grouping is worse than a grouping earlier this year. The good news for this filly is she's been in California plenty long enough to acclimate, but she's no better than several she's facing, and she might be ready to tail off. We're going to try to beat Midnight Bisu as the favorite. Ali Scandy exploded in her first dirt try this year at Delmore, and paired up that figure in a losing effort last time. The two big ones could have taken something out of her, but she's locally based, a contender on number power, and will be a price. Paradise Woods shows a clear pattern of cycling to and from top efforts. She ran one of those tops last time out, and if she were a short price, we would play her to bounce and bet against her. But she won't be and she's one of the fastest mares here on her best and is locally based. One of these days she won't bounce, and we have to use her. Secret Spice to a giant figure out of nowhere as a three-year-old. This year she hasn't quite gotten back to that level, but she's run strong figures for Baltus and in California. She's very solid, locally based, and a strong contender. We have to try to beat Midnight Basu at a short price in a distaff. Even if she fires, she's no better than several others, and she may not run her best as well. We're going all California in this one. Paradise Woods, Ali's Candy, Secret Spice, and may even use La Forest for a drop in the exotics.